Hello, children of God. For this message, I'm going to need a volunteer, a little audience participation. Now, for the purposes of this video, since I am only one person, I will also be playing the part of said volunteer. Work with me. Imagination. I'll do it. Okay, great. So what I need you to do is take this backpack. You can put it on, put it on your back, put it on your front, whatever works best, but I want you to hold this backpack. So just hang tight there for a minute. I'm gonna be adding some things to the backpack. Now kids, I want you to tell me some things that make you feel afraid or worried. What are some things that can be scary? A bug, snakes, spiders, a hard test at school. Those are all things that might make us feel worried. Now, sometimes when we have these things that are scary or worry, it's sort of like having something that really weighs you down. So hang tight with that backpack there. I'm just gonna drop some things in it for you. So we said spiders, snakes, maybe thunderstorm, a hard test at school, maybe having to do something that you don't want to do. How's that feeling there? It's getting a little heavy. It's getting heavy? Okay, well, hang on. We're gonna add a little more to it. So, so maybe something else might be scary, like um, um, trying something new or a friend who's upset with you. That could be worrisome. It's getting heavy, isn't it? Well, maybe just a couple more things, huh? Sometimes all of those fears and frustrations and worries, well, they can be burdensome. They can kind of feel like a big, heavy load, right? Uh-huh, it's really heavy. Well, what if I traded you? Would you like to carry something a little bit lighter than that big backpack, something else instead? That would be nice, yes. This is getting very heavy. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to take that backpack for you. How does that sound? Uh-huh, all right, so let's just drop it. Let's just get rid of the backpack. And instead, you can carry this nice pillow. It's soft, it's squishy, it's fluffy, and it's very light. Much lighter than that backpack, right? Oh yes, this feels much better. So you would agree that the nice pillow is a pretty good trade. It's nice to swap. I've replaced that heavy load with something that's lighter and feels much better to carry. Oh yes. Well, thank you for helping me out. You can go back to your seat if you want to keep holding the pillow. You may keep holding the pillow. Now, this is what happens in our lives when we welcome the Holy Spirit in instead of a spirit of fear. See, when we have things that worry us or scare us, like you mentioned, all of those scary, worrisome, anxiety-raising things, there's a lot of stuff out there that's hard to deal with. And it can feel like a big, heavy burden, like something's weighing you down. And sometimes it feels like we have to carry all of that. It feels like we have to bear that load ourselves. But the good news is we don't have to. The good news is that we can trade that big burden of worry and fear, and we can trade it and replace it with something that's light and hopeful and happy and beautiful. And that is the peace of Jesus Christ. See, Jesus wants to give us his peace and his spirit instead of these big burdens of anxiety, of worry, of fear. After Jesus rose from the dead, he came and visited his disciples. Well, he spent a lot of time on earth with his disciples. If you call 40 days a lot of time. He spent time on earth with his disciples after he came back from the dead. Now, and he had very, very first risen. The disciples didn't know yet what was going on. And they were still scared. They were scared because they thought Jesus was still dead. They were scared because the Jews, the people who were in the temples and the, the bad guys had killed Jesus. And they were worried, what if these bad people come for us too? What if they try to arrest us and kill us? So they were hiding. The disciples were all gathered in a room together, with the doors locked because they were scared. They were afraid. They were worried and they didn't know what was going to happen to them. And then 
through these locked doors appeared Jesus. Jesus came and said, look, here I am. I'm alive. You don't need to fear anymore. You don't need to worry. Here's my hands and my side. It's really me, but I'm alive. And because I'm alive, you have hope. And Jesus breathed on them. He breathed on them the Holy Spirit. And with that, he gave them his peace. He said, I'm giving you peace. Instead of fear, have peace. Instead of worry, have hope. Be comforted. I am giving you forgiveness. You've been forgiven of your sins. And now you can go pass that on and forgive others when they do things to you. Jesus wanted them to know don't be afraid. I'm here. I'm with you. I have died and come back to life. I have conquered death. The biggest fear, the biggest enemy, that's all over. And we have that hope too, because Jesus is still alive today. He might not be walking around on earth, but he's still present with us. And that presence provides peace. We don't have to carry those fears as burdens. We can give them to God. We can give them to Jesus and ask for his peace, and he will replace our fears. Sometimes that seems easier said than done. It's kind of like when you turn on a light in the middle of a dark room. The light cancels out all that darkness, and you're not afraid of the dark anymore. Well, we can give our fears to Jesus. We can know that his peace will surround us. And comfort us that his peace is possible his hope is possible all we have to do is ask give your burdens give your fears give your worries to God he's big enough to carry them and his peace will feel like a nice squishy pillow in place of those fears so why don't we say a prayer to God right now and we can thank him for taking away our fears and replacing them with his peace Dear God, thank you for Jesus. Thank you for the hope of his resurrection and the peace of his presence. Help us give you our fears. Thank you for comforting us with your peace. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, Fiona and I wish you a hopeful and happy week, a joyous celebration continued of the resurrection of Jesus. He is risen. He has risen indeed. Alleluia. Give him your fears and take his peace. Now, go make some disciples. Come back again for more message and craft ideas every week. Have a wonderful time or day or week or whatever you're doing. Hope we'll see you next time. Bye.